Hey guys, I like to roll here. I just received my uh, parts for the turf tracer here. And I was going to go ahead and show you uh, what's going on here so you can see how much movement there is there. And this wheel is also should be a lot tighter. And on here you can see we're wearing into the yoke a bit. A lot of wear there, and again here. So I got some parts here. These are for the wheels. This is the uh, bearing and the bu bushings for either end. In case you're curious, these are the part numbers. That's the Stens part number, and then these are the X mark part numbers. And then I also got new bushings for here. So these go in there, one in there on top, and one in the bottom. So I'm going to work on those. Got four of those there. Um, I'm not sure what part number those are, but. If I find, if I remember, I'll put the link, or I'll put the part number below the screen, or below, below the video. So yeah, that's my project for today. Oh, and I also have new uh, grease fittings for these, as well as the wheels. Down there, I got 45s again for these, and just straight ones for this. And while I'm in there, I'm also going to clean out the inside with some uh, gum cutter or something. I'm not sure yet, I have to see what I have. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started on our project, and I'll uh, update you as I go. Alright guys, so making some progress here. So I'll just, I'll show you what I'm doing here. So basically, right now I got uh, all the bushings out. Those are the old bushings there. Um, there's one over there. And I think one more somewhere. Um, that's obviously the new bushing over here. But right now, um, you can see this huge greasy mess. I had to use my uh, air chisel to get those bushings out and just did it real carefully not to uh, damage the inside of those uh, front forks there. Or not front forks, but uh, whatever these are called, I can't remember. But uh, yeah, so I did that, drove out the old bushings, and right now I am using some engine degreaser and WD-40 to uh, clean out the inside there um because there's lots of like dried up grease and crap that um like that it's not dried up but it's just really pasty i don't know what it is it's like old grease or something but neither of these um grease fittings were actually properly working so uh as i told you i bought new ones those are the old ones, and then the new ones are in that bag over there, and yeah, in that one, in those bags. So yeah, that's what's going on right now. Um, just got to clean, finish cleaning this out on this side. Now I'll do that side, clean out the grease ports or grease holes. We should be good to go. It's going pretty good so far. Um, I started just doing it with a hammer and ch uh, punch. To drive out those bushings, but it was it wasn't moving, so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna do it real carefully with my air chisel. I don't think I've ever showed you this before, but it's a uh, Craftsman air chisel, and then um, shows you show you the uh, cutter and punch set that I have. So yeah. Anyways, I'm going to keep working. I will show you what's going on next. Okay, guys. So I got the uh, first side of bushings done. As you can see, some fresh bushings. And I drove them in. There, basically uh, what I did is I just put this block of wood on it. And then use my hammer. And go from there. So that works well. And you don't really want to... Uh, pound directly on the bushing because it will uh, mess it up 
and you don't want to mess up the bushings that you're reinstalling. And these should be good for a while. Um, I don't think they'll wear out for maybe a year or two, depending on how much I use it next year. And I'm planning on using the mower a lot more because I'm going to be getting a lot more work. Um, so now I'm going to do this side, and I did a uh, get these all cleaned out so they're nice and clean in there so I can put fresh grease and a new grease sitting on it. This side is also clean, as you can see. And basically what I was doing to clean it is I was just spraying some WD-40 down there and then letting it soak for a second. Obviously a lot of it's going to run out, but the amount that gets in there and stays in there, I can soak it, um, soak the grease and it comes off easier. And then I was just using my um, a wadded up paper towel and using this uh, pin punch and just pushing it through slowly to wipe it all off. And then I also obviously had cardboard under it because there's a lot of runoff and you can see I uh, spilled some there but whatever. I have uh, somewhere back there I have a, a thing of degreaser I'm going to use and clean off this area here in the front of the garage on the driveway but uh, anyways so far so good. I don't think I'm going to do the uh, wheel bearings tonight because um, it's getting dark and I need to go get dinner. It's 6.07 right now so it's just about dinner time and I want to watch the uh, Virginia Tech football game tonight. So yeah I'll probably do those bearings another day and I'll do a video on that obviously but for now I'll just keep running on the uh, bearings that are in the wheels now. So, anyways, I will put these other two bushings in, and then show you how it looks. Okay, so I got the uh, other side of the bushings done. Um, next, what I'm going to do is go ahead and put the grease fittings in, and for that I have some new straight fittings. Got these off uh, eBay. The seller was Zerks Plus and I would definitely recommend uh, purchasing from them. They were fast shipping and good customer service. So for, and I got these sizes off of um, the uh, parts list on Parts Tree for this mower and that's went on eBay because um, Parts Tree was just super expensive and I got free shipping on eBay. Or not free shipping but like 40 or 50 cents shipping between the two packages but for the uh, uh, front yokes here these are a 1 8 by 27 or dash 27 and I'll go ahead and tell you the number for the wheels the grease rings for those and that is 1 4 by 28 45 Okay guys, I just uh, finished everything up here actually. Um, I had to cut that last video a little bit short, the last clip there because I got a phone call and <clears throat> I had to talk on the phone, but I finished it up while I was talking on the phone, but now the uh, bushings are much better. Not near as much movement there now. In fact, barely any, and I pumped them full of grease, so they're all good to go. So, um, I'm going to do those tires, those bearings and the tires. I'm going to do those another day, but that's pretty simple. I don't have to take the entire yoke off and do all that. I'll still probably clean them out, though, just because I'm in there. I might as well do it. Then I, don't, then I can put fresh grease in there, and I know it's good grease, so the bearings will last a while. So that's about it for that project. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the little series of videos there. Um, I do plan on doing a video of doing the um, bearings and the wheels also. So whenever I get around to that, I'll, I'll record that for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next video.